Digitalization is dominating many areas of our everyday lives. Its technologies can be found in so many of the devices and applications we use on a regular basis. They are innovative and undergo constant development. At the heart of these technologies are microchips. Microchips are central to all these applications. They make them possible in the first place. But how is such a high-performance microchip actually produced? The starting material is quartz. A thermal reduction yields the semiconductor metal silicon at a purity level of 99%. But 99% purity is by far not sufficient for microchip production. The nine nines behind the decimal point are what counts. To visualize such a number, imagine having a collection of 1,000 books with 500 pages each and finding one single misprint only. Transforming 99% pure silicon into this hyper-pure polysilicon requires very complex, high-tech processes. At Varka, we have been making the basic raw material for the production of microchips for more than 50 years. Polysilicon is processed into wafers, and these are further processed into microchips, which are used in chip-based applications. Just about every other microchip worldwide is made of polysilicon from Vaca. One could say you encounter Vaca every day, without even noticing. By the way, seven nines behind the decimal point is the degree of purity required in polysilicon for use in the manufacture of solar modules for photovoltaics, another important field of application for high purity polysilicon from Vaca. Solar energy and its extremely low carbon footprint, along with the digital transformation, are two major driving forces for a climate-neutral, sustainable future.